Hello everyone, with this video we are going to be learning English with a clip from the series Friends. To start with, we are going to watch the full video with subtitles. Then, we are going to analyse the most important phrases and words in the video. To finish, we will watch the video again without subtitles so you can see how much you have learned. Ready? Let's go! Hey, is Chandler here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, about last night, um, you know, Chandler, you didn't tell... Okay, because I'm thinking, we don't need to tell Chandler. I mean, it was just a kiss, right? One kiss, no big deal, <laughs> right? Right, no big deal. Okay. In bizarro world... <laughs> <laughs> you broke the code. What code? You don't kiss your friend's mom. Sisters are okay. Maybe a hot-looking aunt, but not a mom. Never a mom! Stop! What are you guys doing out here? Uh, uh, well, Joey and I had discussed getting in an early morning racquetball game. <laughs> but, um, apparently somebody overslept. Yeah, well, you don't have your racket. No, no, I don't, because it's being restrung. <clears throat> somebody was supposed to bring me one. Yeah, well, you didn't call and leave your grip size. Hey, you guys spend way too much time together. Hey, is Chandler here? Yeah. <laughs> Come here is very common, informal, and used all the time in spoken English. And it is used as a way of getting someone's attention so that you can ask them something. There are other things that you can add to come here, which makes it sound less abrupt. For example, come here a minute, or you can say it in a tone as though you have something important to show them, and importantly, in a friendly manner. Okay, uh, about last night, um, you know, Chandler, you didn't tell. So this phrase is used as an opening to a conversation regarding the events of the previous evening, often involving an unpleasant or embarrassing topic, which is what we've just witnessed here, with Ross kissing Chandler's mom. When saying this sentence in spoken and natural English, we often don't pronounce the t, t sound at the end of the word about and last. So it's not about last night. In a natural way, it sounds like this. About last night. About last night. Repeat it after me. About last night. So we're not pronouncing that final t, t sound. About last night. Great! Okay, because I'm thinking we don't need to tell Chandler. I mean, it was just a kiss, right? I mean is a tricky English phrase that can really throw you off when learning English. Let me try to explain. You say I mean when making something clearer. You say I mean when making clearer something that you have just said. For example, it was his idea. Bob's I mean. So it was Bob's idea. You can also use I mean to introduce introduce a statement, especially one that justifies something that you have just said. I mean is a bit of a filler sentence. It adds emphasis to a sentence. I mean is a complex phrase and not one you will find in traditional English dictionaries. When we click on this word in fluent you, we can see that I mean is an expression used to introduce a new suggestion. Fluent You also gives us an example. I mean, have you thought of trying something new? One kiss, no big deal, <laughs> right? Right, no big deal. Okay. In bizarro world. <laughs> no big deal is very informal and used to indicate that something is of little consequence. It is not a serious problem. So if someone spilled a drink in your house, you may say, no big deal, don't worry about it, to reassure them that everything is okay. You broke the code. What code? Now, broke the code is definitely a more American phrase and you wouldn't typically hear it being said in the UK. It means that you have gone against 
one of your friends. It is an unwritten rule. You do not break. Like kissing a friend's mom. <laughs> you don't kiss your friend's mom. Sisters are okay. So, following on from broke the code, here we have sisters are okay. So, whereas we saw Ross kissing Chandler's mom, and this is not okay, <laughs> if he had kissed his sister, that would be fine. Okay, normal. <laughs> Now, I am not sure kissing someone's actual sister would be okay, but according to the TV show Friends, it is. <laughs> what do you think? Following all the nuances and slang words in English can be tricky, and it can be annoying to have to always pause your favorite TV show to look up vocab words online. But if you see the phrase in the Fluent New app, all you have to do is to click on the word to see the full definition and other examples. After, you can test your knowledge with quizzes and perfect your pronunciation. Plus, Fluent New has tons of different videos, from TV scenes to music videos to movie clips. Click on the link in the description and try Fluent New for free for 50 days and come back to me and let me know if you like it. Maybe a hot looking head, but not a mom. Never a mom! First of all, notice the pronunciation. Hot looking, looking. We are not pronouncing the final g or g sound in looking, looking. How we pronounce it is looking, looking. And this would be true in most, if not all, casual conversations. We wouldn't really pronounce the final g or g sound. You can, of course, pronounce the final g sound, but it's important to note that most native speakers won't. Now, hot looking is an adjective. That means something looks hot, specifically of a person, especially a woman. Other words to describe hot looking would be sexually attractive. Now, in 2022, it is more common to say you look hot or she's hot than hot looking. What are you guys doing out here? Uh, uh, well, Joey and I had discussed getting in an early morning racquetball game. Now, formally, early morning means the time of day between sunrise and up to three hours after sunrise. But to you and me, it just means the start of the day. You know, the time you wish you were still in bed, but you are actually up getting ready for work. <laughs> but um, apparently somebody overslept. <laughs> Oversleep is the present tense verb and overslept is the past tense verb, which means to sleep longer or later than one intended. Now confession, since I had my baby boy, I never get to oversleep. But when was the last time you did? Did you miss something important? Let me know in the comments. Yeah, well, you don't have your racket. For this one, I actually think it's easier to see a picture of this item. It is a bat with a round or oval frame, which is strong, used especially in tennis, badminton, and squash. No, no, I don't because it's being restrung. Restring is the present tense and restrung is the past tense. It means to fit new or different strings to a musical instrument or sports racket. We are going through a lot of important vocab words and it can be a lot to remember. I know, to make sure you don't forget all the words that we've learned today, we've made you a free PDF of all the vocabulary that you can get by clicking on the link in the description below. Yeah, well, you didn't call and leave your grip size. <laughs> leave is one of those verbs in English that has several meanings. Most commonly, to go away from someone or something for a short time or permanently. For example, I'll be leaving at five o'clock tomorrow. In this instance, it means to give something or someone something before you go, either intentionally or by accident. So here, Ross should have given his grip size or measurements to Joey 
before they played their game. And the grip size is the circumference of the handle of the racket. And the size you need will therefore depend on the size of your hand. <laughs> you guys spend way too much time together. <laughs> The word way is an intensifier to express that something is more than normal. So if something is way too much, it is to a degree that is very excessive. Chandler is saying, you both need to hang out less, spend less time together. For me, I spend way too much time watching friends on repeat. <laughs> Let's check out the video again, now without subtitles. Hey, is Chandler here? Yeah. Okay, come <laughs> Okay, uh, about last night, um, you know, Chandler, you didn't tell Okay, because I'm thinking, we don't need to tell Chandler. I mean, it was just a kiss, right? One kiss, no big deal, <laughs> right? Nice, no big deal. Okay. In bizarro world. <laughs> you broke the code. What code? You don't kiss your friend's mom. Sisters are okay. Maybe a hot-looking aunt, but not a mom. Never a mom! Stop! <laughs> What are you guys doing out here? Uh, uh, well, Joey and I had discussed getting in an early morning racquetball game. <laughs> but um, apparently, somebody overslept. Yeah, well, you don't have your racket. No, no, I don't, because it's being restrung. <clears throat> somebody was supposed to bring me one. Yeah, well, you didn't call and leave your grip size. <laughs> hey, you guys spend way too much time together. <laughs> If you are enjoying learning English this way, then be sure to check out this video in which we will continue exploring business English phrases and vocabulary.